Hello everyone, in this series of videos, I'll be showing you, I'll be giving you a set of tips to master any cloud platform. I've been a developer from the beginning and I've been using Azure for over a decade now. And along the way, I have picked up a few things that helped me learn cloud better. And so in this video, I'll be sharing those things with you. So, and this is going to be a video where we're touching a subject on its meta level. For example, there are a lot of videos on how to learn math, so how to learn physics, just like that. In this video, I'm gonna focus on how to learn cloud computing. And the tips that I'll be focusing on in this series of videos, these will be platform agnostic. So you'll be able to use these tips to master any cloud platform. It doesn't matter whether you're learning Azure, AWS or GCP, you'll be able to use these tips to master any cloud platform. And the focus of this is not just to help you learn the basics of cloud computing, but to truly master it, truly become an advanced cloud practitioner. And there's one underlying learning principle behind all these tips, and that is creating positive feedback loops, positive learning feedback loops. When learning new things, rewarding ourselves provides the best results and to keep learning, we need to avoid frustrations. You will understand what I mean when I go through the actual tips in my upcoming videos. Let's get started with the tip number one, having your own account or having your own cloud subscription. When we get started as beginners, you know, we'll be watching a lot of videos and we'll be reading a lot of articles. But the first thing that you should understand is that cloud, it's a practitioner's game. So it's all about doing practicals. So after learning the, the theoretical side of the things, you read these articles and you want to do practical stuff, right? And that is where your knowledge will be solidified. The account or the subscription that you might be using, you could be using your university account or a uh, company experimental account if you're working somewhere. But the problem is that these accounts, they do not allow you to fully experiment. So what happens is that you try doing something, you, you know, you try to create, for example, a virtual machine or an app service and you get this error saying that, okay, uh, you can't create this resource in this region because of a policy violation or something like that. And as a beginner, you don't understand what it is saying and you just stop learning because you're getting frustrated, right? And that is what we want to avoid. If you have your own cloud account, right? This won't happen. You want to become an expert. You want to become a master. So you should first try purchasing a pay as you go account. It's, it's no different than having your own Netflix or Spotify account. You just, you know, add your credit card and you'll get the, uh, the foundational knowledge on how to purchase a subscription. I know the question that you'll be having is that, okay, what if I get a huge bill at the end of the month? There's a simple answer for that. The first lesson that you should have is the basics of cost management, how to look at cost dashboards and how to create alerts. So if you're spending more than $2, you can create an alert. These are the things that you should master first and then purchase a cloud account and then you can experiment with this it is an investment you have to pay, but you won't get a huge bill if you're careful with the resources that you that you create. You'll, you'll be costed around like one to two dollars per month for your experiment if you delete your experiment after doing it. And the next benefit that you'll get is that from the beginning, you will have the idea that for a virtual machine, I have to pay an, for an hourly rate. And if you create a queue, for example, that I don't have to pay if I don't use it. Now, this knowledge is important if you want to become a cloud expert. So that is the, the goal of this series of videos. And for some, this might be a bad advice, but if you want to become an expert, this is the first step that you want to take. I will see you in the next video.